today from Memphis, Tennessee. It's week seven of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Memphis Egyptians taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Now from just east of the Mississippi River, EA Sports welcomes you to the home of the Blues, Memphis, Tennessee. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers and the Memphis Egyptians. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you look at this Memphis team as they get ready here. They come off a disappointment last time out to put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the cornerback. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. You look at this Niner defense. They were terrific last week in the win over Denver. And the big thing for them was the interceptions. And you hear teams all the time talk about establishing themselves against the pass. You know, no fly zones and things of that nature. This group had a bunch of them in last week's game. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave them with a third and about four more for a first. From the shotgun, Richardson. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions, can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? So here are the 49ers and their offense in great field position already. And they'll be let out by their third-year quarterback. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes, 
I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Say Gray. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Niners take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the... grab a seven to nothing lead so they only needed three plays on that drive and the drive culminated with the Danny Gray touchdown so here's Moody back out there now to send this one away Reed gonna bring it out of the end zone Reed wrestling ahead and tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Again, it's Jones. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle, Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. A couple of first downs on the drive already. The gun, they'll try to run it. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And inside give to Jones. 20, 10, touchdown! Aaron Jones with career touchdown number 70. And the Egyptians are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Anders Carlson now for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. 
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Inside the 20, Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Following the loss last week, consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all, and if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff, and it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. They got to figure out how to get coordinated. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Only three there on the screen at second down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. From the 43, here's second down at seven. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10, they go back to the ground with Jones. Nothing doing, barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. They work now on second and nine. They go play action with Richardson. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Touchdown! Christian Watson, 35 yards. And the Egyptians are an extra point away from evening this one up. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at five. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 
Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. the option. Here's McCaffrey. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Second and nine. Shotgun now with Purdy. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one and it's third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Purdy with it on third and long. Under pressure and down he goes. It's a loss of 10 on the sack and it leads to fourth. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses happened their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's... And they blocked it. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And there, Charles, the pressure wasn't coming off the edge. That block came straight up the chute, up the middle. And that's when you're going to ask the personal protector what happened because that position is often called the searchlight. And you start that light right up the middle before you scan to the sides. That's where your immediate threat is, and it's your quickest threat. Why he didn't see that and pick it up, that's going to be a big question they'll have to ask. Now a first down carry by Jones. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Now Jones. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Now Richardson has to get them to the line in a hurry now. They'll try again with Jones. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Jones is into the end zone. Touchdown. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the whole hard and finish in the end zone. Carlson on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So the drive there took six plays, and the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Yeah, yeah, we dominate the San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Purdy. That's complete, it's Daz Newsom. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now San Francisco gonna call their second timeout as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. On first down, it's Purdy. Down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw, Purdy. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds, right around the seven. Second down and three, ball on the seven. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. 
And it's caught. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Now Purdy. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. George Kittle in the final seconds of the first half. And the Niners have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen <laughs> with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. Extra point try now for Moody. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down to Orlando.